Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Evo Yurk. He is the CEO at Gates Corporation. Evo, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Good morning, Judy. Thank you for having me. Uh, very exciting to be at the NYSC. It's always uh, terrific to come and visit. Yes, and this morning you rang the opening bell to start the trading day. What was that like? We did. It's terrific. Uh, it's a second time for us. Uh, we have done it uh, coming and listing the company six years ago at NYSC. It was a terrific uh, experience for us. We love being part of the exchange and uh, it's just an exciting time. Yes, well, great to have you as part of the community. So now let's talk about the company. Um, give me a quick overview of Gates and the markets that you serve. Sure. So Gates about $3.6 billion of revenue in 2023. We, we, we Frankly, we serve every uh, aspect of industrial economy. So we manufacture products uh, in power transmission, belts and mechanical components that power things uh, around the industrial economy. Uh, we also have a fluid power segment that uh, manufactures hydraulics and fluid conveyance products. And we do everything from supporting the agriculture industry through John Deere and Caterpillar type applications to construction and everything all the way through hyperscale data center cooling. So we have a really broad breadth and sway of the industrial economy. We touch everything out there. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, how does your material science innovation capabilities differentiate the company? You know, uh, that's probably one of the most underappreciated facts about our company. Uh, we have uh, been an innovator in uh, uh, material science uh, for over 113 years. It is the legacy of our company uh, from the founder, uh, Charles C. Gates, in, uh, you know, about 113 years ago. And we've continued to invest, and partic particularly under the Blackstone ownership and the management team that we have, bring, bring, uh, we have brought around, has uh, focused on investments in uh, innovation and investments in material science that give us a capability to significantly revitalize our entire portfolio of products. And that served us well. That gives us the opportunity to continue to drive innovation across new applications, uh, such as uh, what we call uh, industrial chain to belt and mobility chain to belt, where we are taking our highly engineered rubber uh, belts and metal components and we are replacing old, dirty, rusty, you know, need for lubrication chains. So, you know, there'll be a good example where uh, material science comes and plays a significant role in how we can drive uh, our future forward and how we can attach ourselves to an economy that's, uh, you know, that's evolving every day. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of your future, what are the key growth opportunities for the company over the next few years? Yeah, thank you. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, that uh, that comes towards, um, uh, as I explained, you know, industrial and mobility chain to belt. So that is a very large market where we compete with non-traditional uh, competitors like industrial chain. We drive that innovation through ecologically more sound solutions. Uh, we offer our customers uh, productivity boost. Uh, and we help them with you know, some of the challenging demographics in the workplace as well through that innovation. So that's a very large opportunity, huge uh, driver of growth for us in the future. We've talked uh, yesterday uh, during our investor day about some applications uh, that are brand new to our company. And as we all are get, getting very excited about AI and the digitization of global economy and the build out of hyperscale data centers, you know, that's a new opportunity for us where we have uh, launched a, a new technology in cooling, in thermal management, uh, water pumps that go into those hyperscale data centers that, that require water cooling and our uh, uh, fluid conveyance products, our hoses that go in. And that's a very large opportunity that, uh, you know, as, uh, as long as maybe a year ago did not exist for a company. So really exciting new venues to be able to drive growth well into the future. And I'm you know, very excited about the next 100 plus years as well. All right. Well, Evo, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you, Jane.